Hey guys, Will here. So today we're going to be ticking off a few boxes for things that you guys have been asking for for quite some time. We're going to be giving Dirt Rally 2 a try in the 65 inch 4K display. We're going to be using point of view view as well with the GoPro strapped to my head, as you can see. We're also testing out for the first time our solution for removing the bezel. As you can see on this view, the uh, bezel in that corner is gone. We're using a couple of the ASUS ROG bezel free kits and we've kind of come up with a bit of a jerry rig system to get them mounted on the screen for now. It's not the final solution. We've got a couple of other bits and pieces coming uh, that'll help us to mount them a little bit more cleanly. So we'll do a dedicated video for that once we've got it all set up and running properly. But this should sort of give you an idea of how it's gonna look once it's finished, at least from the viewer's perspective. So let's just jump in and go for a drive. Here we go. This is gonna be a crazy ride. <laughs> You've got to um, get used to having the handbrake and the shifter on the right hand side too. I just realised it's the first time I've driven a rally car with that on the other side. So it's going to take a little getting used to. I don't think it'll affect my uh, performance too much because it's not like I was going to be fast anyway. But I'm going to be flailing my arms around a little bit sort of trying to find where everything is I think. Oh. <laughs> left Titans into three right long Titans of a crest. Come on. Fifty tarmac. Find that crest into four right. Oops, Traction crest, point for the front. 50, it's oh, you feel as soon as I moved onto the tarmac there, I could feel the right. feel the grip just bite. It really did 18. give me a quite a strong sensation in the rear of the car long, as it kind of pulled it into line over the, the bridge. Crest, Didn't get that quite right. Yeah, the feeling is very different on the tarmac, as obviously you would expect, but the, uh, whoa, <laughs> the sensation change is quite, uh, quite dramatic. I think, you know, obviously for me, like I'm not an experienced rally driver by any means, so I'm probably not the person to be evaluating its impact on performance at this stage, but it certainly is giving me something extra that I'm not used to. So it'd be really interesting to sort of get somebody more experienced with rally in this and really sort of let us know what it feels like and how much of an impact it actually has on their speed but I can certainly comment on immersion and it feels amazing whoa as I flip the car we're still good we're still good I think I'm still I think it just flashed up there two seconds ahead of my PB as well it shows just goes to show how slow I am normally. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done this. Come on, hold it together. I still feel like I, I get scared going too fast. <laughs> so I don't know how violent it's going to be if I crash. Which is silly because like we originally I got into sim racing because I was one of the reasons was because I was so worried about crashing a real life car that I never really sort of enjoyed doing it. Now I feel like we've built this up to the point where I'm scared of this as well. <laughs> Come on. Keep us steady. I'm sure once I've had a few big crashes, I'll get used to it and it won't be a problem anymore. I feel like I'm starting to get the hang of it a bit now. It's just that understeer on the front, the lack of turn in. Sort of getting the car to drift so that it's going to slide in the direction that you want rather than expecting it to turn in means you have to sort of turn into the apex sooner than you think you do or sooner than it comes naturally. But once you sort of start to get the hang of it, it does get a little easier. A little bit behind. Oh, there we go. Here's a handbrake turn. Left. Opens into 
That wasn't too bad. Alright, now we go through the hard section. Keep it out of the trees. Come on. I gotta say, the bezel free kit as well. Like, we haven't got it perfected yet, as I said before, but. But the bezels have never really bothered me all that much. I've got to admit, like, I, I kind of thought that they would because of my OCD and everything. I'm very much a perfectionist when it comes to that kind of thing, but... Oh, there's my ghost car. It hasn't really bothered me all that much, but not having them there is definitely an improvement. I'm assuming it must be a big improvement for you guys on camera too, but for me as a driver... I can see a little bit of the distortion there in my peripheral vision, but certainly not as obnoxious as the bezels that we had there previously, so... I'd say that's definitely a win from a driver's perspective as well. Now, we do have some perfecting to do there still as well. Oh, there goes my ghost car off the road. That gives us a chance to go faster. But, yeah, I'd say, you know, as a initial impression of that, it, it does seem to be working really well. So I'm happy with that too. There's a ghost car ahead of us again. Ah, trees! Oh, how did I miss those? <laughs> How is my ghost car still ahead of me? Oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, this is hard, this bit. Always end up drifting into that outside wall. Like that. <laughs> Come on, get ahead of him. Whoa, tree! Oh, just nipped it. We're okay, we're okay, we can do this. Come on, off the wall. Yes. Kind of having the ghost car there feels almost like cheating a little bit. I can kind of gauge where where I was braking. Oh, oh no. <laughs> At least we now we know what it feels like to roll. Not quite as dramatic as our previous rolls where we've really barrel rolled the car, but. You guys would have seen that previous video when we rolled the rallycross car in iRacing. It was pretty wild. Alright. Try and hold this together. It's a pretty lame roll, that. Come on. Oh, car's very broken. Which way does the road go that way? Almost at the end now. I feel like I, I hardly got my both hands on the wheel, but I'm changing gears so, so often that it's hard to sort of always remember to put my hand back on straight away only to take it off again I'm sure I must I'll get used to that over time though Whoa. okay we're near the end now Whoa. Jeez, you really feel that ah, pole 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 <laughs> Whoa, in reverse now come on <laughs> it's amazing how well the motion, um, the V3 platform, oh god, sliding off again, how well that V3 platform simulates being thrown around in the car like that when you land, considering it doesn't have any heave, it's relying purely on the pitch, it does a really good job. Oh. Alright, let's send it over the finish. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Well, it wasn't my fastest time, but it was certainly a lot of fun. What do you reckon? Should we put Tom in and see how he goes? Maybe he'll uh, make me look better than I am. Like, how do I do it? <laughs> Five, just drive. Four, three, <laughs> two, I don't know what I'm doing. 
Okay. Two left long, oh. opens over crest to narrow bridge. Tarmac into two right long, opens back camber, 40. Uh. <laughs> Five right, into four left long. Oh, it's so weird. Bridge. Just having gravel. that much 30. floppiness Four's going on everywhere. <laughs> Oh dear. Long, over jump maybe. Oh dear. Slow 30. Five left long. Titans four. When was the last time you did any five right rally cross? Uh, was it rally cross or no, no, no v, v, v rally? Right yeah, when was that out? Ninety-seven. Yeah, so a few years. <laughs> Fifty tarmac. Crest into four right. Opens of a crest. You know better than I thought you would. Gee, you mustn't have thought I was going to do very good. <laughs> I, I think I am. <laughs> this is damn fun, though. <laughs> Even being so terrible at it, I'm having so much fun. Six seconds off. That's all right. We can make that up. Oh, gosh, you really can feel the rear coming out so well. What? What? <laughs> 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 That's really scary. <laughs> oh, it's genuinely scary. Flat middle of a crest, 50. Five right Titans. Opens of a crest, 80. Flat small crest, 150. Six left long, Titans, 5. 80. Slow five right long, tightens two over crest. Opens 30 downhill. Four left long, Whoops. tightens. Opens over Whoops. crest. 30. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Long, crest 30. Right, unseen. Into five left. <laughs> I pushed it as well. I did what you did. <laughs> I think it's because you're used to pushing. To yeah. change down. Yeah, you go slow down, slow down, slow yeah, down. Yeah, you want to slow down, <laughs> and then you put. <laughs> There's so much more moving in the platform than it looks like when you're driving. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it's doing that much, but Six then. Right of a crest. Uh, Eighty. You're getting good at driving so on two wheels. Like it's moving all that much, but it's because it's in sync with what you're seeing on the screen. That's it. Crest. It feels left long, tight yeah, you just. Oh, when we didn't have the motion compensation thingy working. It felt like you were floating all over the place. Yeah, true. No, you, just, you get this nice little nudge in your bum kind of thing. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. Six left. I can't Intercept. drive and I can't talk, so I'm trying to drive and talk, and it's not going well at all. I don't know, you just get this, this sort of lightness on one side of your bum. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when it moves, yeah. and it just gives you you that cue. Yeah. It doesn't feel exaggerated. Oh, oh, terminal damage. <laughs> doesn't feel exaggerated. The uh, movement. Uh, yes, it really helps you uh, to I'll be. Come uh, into the frame. <laughs> it really helps you to be precise and accurate with your driving. Uh, you need a you need a co-driver for next time. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, could, we could hook that up. Get you be over the weight limit, though. That's the problem. Nah. I've seen... There's another... Ch I can't think of the name of the channel now, but there's another guy who actually built a cabin, like a rally cabin, yeah. with a seat next to him for his code. Like, he's an actual rally driver. <laughs> I think. It's, uh, That's sick. I'll have to try and find Is it. Is it on traction, though? No, no. Because he was asking me about the traction system. Uh, and yeah, maybe running, like, two of them side by side or something. I don't okay. know. Okay. What do you think? What do you, the bezel free kit and everything seems to be? Oh, I didn't even notice them to be honest. Yeah, it's um, just kind of there. Yeah, just yeah. yeah, it's not distracting in any way. It's great. Cool. Working cool, well. Cool. Working well. Excellent. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, we've got a bunch of stuff we need to sort out mm -hmm. before. Um, yeah, we've got the Porsche Esports Super Cup thing coming up. How are you feeling? Nervous. Yeah. Yeah. Like I kind of I, from the first one, I learned that it's more important to just have fun. That's it. And not, you know take it too seriously but mm -hmm. I don't want to just like be lapping way behind everybody else no either. you want to be up there I want to be up there so yeah, yeah I need to I'm start sure will be. for that yeah hopefully yep but yeah and we've got a bunch of stuff to fix here 3090 coming as yes. well hopefully later today so I've got a bunch of benchmarking to do this afternoon with so 2080 yes. before we put that in yep because uh, people want to know about you know frame rates with 1080 triples yeah, 1440 sure. and 4k triples so we'll run benchmarks on all those resolutions for triples for you guys and then put the 3090 in and do some comparisons mm -hmm. 
And uh, yeah, then we've got to start training. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up if you did. And uh, yeah, we'll see you again soon. Can I have another turn? Yeah, of course. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> see ya.